What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple of defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Road to the Classic, episode number four. And basically, to sum it up really quickly, guys, uh, this is this video in specific will be my run in the Xbox side of the single limb bracket for the Madden Classic, which is obviously the regs tournament. Um, you know, so far, we made it to the round of 64. And in this video, we're going to see how far we can make it. If we can make the final four and you know what really happens in our games and i did show the brackets in the previous uh, episodes if you want to go check them out and one thing to note guys i do not have host in any of these games um i, I got the 45 seed you know that's okay but you know when you start getting later into the tournament a lot of goons are going to be there and you know host is an incredible you know advantage in this game i feel like so yeah guys with all that being said let's get into the gameplay let me break some stuff down for you guys. Um, I have two videos in this gameplay, um, somewhat shorter, but yeah, it's really good quality. So guys, um, the first drive, I forgot to hit record. That's the thing sometimes about these games. And mind you, this this started up at 10 o'clock my time. So you know, I'm still a little sleepy at the time of this. And potentially guys, hopefully I could do a live comm in the future for my tournaments. But as you see right here, my opponent is running uh, the New York Jets bunch slash you know all the formations the jets playbook has and like i said i did have an ebook on that and you know i'm going to be doing some weekly updates on it hopefully i learned a lot from regs and you know now what's going to possibly be mutt and dc so you know those playbooks are going to be really needed as right there my opponent just hits a and you know that would have been really nice to get an uh, interception off of but you know it is what it is but one thing you guys need to know is I literally fumbled. I got ball first and I fumbled on the first play of the game on the kickoff. Uh, AJ Dillon, I had him at fullback and, you know, I thought I could air truck. And, you know, next thing I knew, I ended up fumbling. So, you know, he has that advantage. He got three. And, you know, the, literally the, pl the first play of our drive, we decided to, you know, get that Aaron Jones air truck for a nice amount of yards. And see right here, my opponent is in the bunch. And he does have three wide receivers now. So I decided to run one, four, six. Um, I, I varied my playbooks up as right here. He throws a blind read. Like I said, I varied my playbooks up from game to game, uh, at least on defense. Obviously, offense, I'm going to stick in the Jets. But on defense, some in certain people, gee, right here, he hits a nice little curl route right between the cover two zones. Some people, you know, I thought I could run 146 a lot. Some people, I thought, you know, 46, the 335 to 335 wide was the move. Um, it just varied from my opponents and, you know, what I thought they were going to do. And, you know, it's it's kind of does suck because I really didn't know who a lot of these guys were. And, you know, but the playbook factor is a huge thing. You see right here, he runs, he runs 0-1 trap. Um, nice run, four yards. You know, um, I'm not I'm not too ha I'm not too happy about him getting that many yards. And I'm sure he's, you know, feeling the same way. He probably could have busted that out. See right here, guys, uh, this 146 setup screams. But the thing is, it's not good run D. And, you know, at, at some point, I got to get out of it. So after getting two nice uh, stops, he decides to pass it. And, you know, my opponent, I could tell right off the bat, as you see, the numbers three of seven, 25 yards, not too shabby and not too good in regs, honestly. Um, my opponent just wanted these quick, easy passes, like a curl route, for example, wheel route. And, you know, I caught on to that very, very quickly. I could tell my opponent really was in the upper echelon of uh, offense. So after realizing that, I, I thought to myself, you know, he's all right on defense, it looks like. Uh, you know, I haven't really seen it. As you see, two for two, 74 yards. I haven't really tested his defense out. But, you know, if he is struggling on offense, I'm going to pick up the pace. I'm going to get him back on offense. Uh, that's the move for sure for me. You see right here, we're going to run Z-Spot, boys. And whoo, Z-Spot and regs, man. That, that's just barbecue chicken. You got to you gotta abuse that, man, to the max. So right here, guys, um, my opponent actually made some really nice adjustments. If you want to rewind that and watch that back. His blitz didn't scream, but what he did was man up the solo side receiver. This is kind of nerdy, guys, but uh, manned up the solo side receiver to that flat that I love to snap throw. And it actually did really good and guarded it pretty well. And, you know, 
I don't know if uh, Jair could have picked that off with uh, Acrobat, but at that time, in that moment, he had parry. I still didn't want to throw it, and you know, he just he just left that guy wide open in the middle of the field. There's really nothing better than that. Here, guys, I'm in the trio, just running the ball. And quick little tip for you guys: um, if they're in zone, you want to run 0-1 trap. If they're in man, you want to run the RPO buck. Um, and you know, for example, zone right there, uh, he couldn't shoot the gap, and I got 10 easy yards. See right here, um, we're gonna run base. We kind of like slow it down, then cut up field very fast, but Kevin King is able to make a tackle. After running again, and you know, kind of getting unfortunate animation, we decided to run an inside switch. Peep Tanyan, he was about to be a laser beam, guys. He ran man, and you know, he got in my route tech route. Good defense, good user, but you know, he did not account for Tanyan on the delay fade, guys, and uh, you know, uh, I, I thought I was going to get cheated. I actually did get cheated, obviously, but I thought he was going to pick it off, maybe run it for six with Perry. That would have been a disaster, boys. So, boys, my opponent actually did run the ball a couple times here. Very questionable. No timeouts. And I feel like in regs, you could easily get three. Um, we decided to just play all out, boot over defense. And, you know, for example, right there, that was a mid read. So, I don't know how consistent it is, guys, but I've noticed that mid read sometimes does bag the crosser. Test it out. You know, practice it, see if it works. Let me know in the comments, guys. See right here, guys. I'm running match. You peep the play art for just a split second. And tell me if if any is anyone open? Is anyone open at all? And peep those passing stats. 4 of 11, 26 yards. I mean, how is this close? Right here, boys, in the 146. I feel like this setup is unblockable. And he does run play action. And <laughs> count how many guys. Tell me right now how many guys came in free right there. Perry Nickerson, 95 speed. There's nothing better than that. See right here, he just got demolished, bro. Three people came in free. So guys, I call this a put away drive. If we get seven, this game is over. As right here, we do get to a third and two and my opponent actually plays really good defense. And it was at this point where I realized my opponent was super blitz happy and he was loving the blitzes that he was sending. As you see right there, it was a very, very close read, guys. Um, yet we were still able to sneak it in and here we go. This is man I don't run RPO buck due to the fact that uh, I had true clock on and sometimes it's hard to maneuver with that 10 second runoff You see right here my opponent is showing a different look He's doing something with Kevin King on the left side, which is blitzing and I mean it doesn't come in We run mesh easy peasy dot they're in cover three guys motion out that mesh let it, you know, if you want to set it, I don't know. I don't let it set. I call it right before it sets. And, you know, versus cover three non-zone drops, that really does work a lot of the time. So right here, guys, we're just going to call base um, and see how many yards we get out of it. Like I said, man, Aaron Jones is that guy. And right here, once more, man, my opponent blitzes. You can't press Tay Adams one-on-one, -on -one, man. That's a bad man to another bad man. A-Rod to Devontae, one of the best connections in the NFL. Let him hear it, Devontae. We're going to be going up 17-6. It's right here, guys. My opponent is in the trio. He is, like I said, he was in Jets' playbook. It's right here. He had a couple players open. Nice little dot, you know. And at the end of the day, there's four minutes and counting left. 40 yards for my opponent. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with those passes. Right here, trying to get that pressure. And the pressure was going to come, but he makes a good read. But like I said... Tick, 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 and it is a fourth down. As you see right here, he's in the bunch tight end. We get insta pressure. He had the tight end wide open. Maybe a couple people wide open, but Big Z, Zeus Zedarius Smith is going to game this game for us. We're going to be moving on to the round of 32. All right, guys, you see the top right corner. We're playing Golden Glover, and we all know this guy. Um, I played him in Madden Bowl last year. Great, great, excuse me, not Madden Bowl, LCQ Finals. It was a great little thing they did. Um, basically, I had to be golden twice to make it into Madden Bowl. And, you know, thankfully, we did it. We got the job done. Uh, it's something very extremely hard to do, beat someone twice, but we were able to do it. So I guess you could say there's, I don't know what I'm say, even a rivalry, but there is some tension there. It's right here, he is running the bunch tight end. And I'm not going to lie, guys, he has a top five bunch tight end that I've played. And guys, something to note here, if we win this game, we get into the money, we get a guaranteed minimum of $1,000, which is always cool, man. Um, you know, like I said, I don't, you know, it is halfway for the money, halfway for the fun, halfway for the accomplishments is right here. He's going to hit us with a laser beam and a half. Is right here, he's going to get in with AJ Dillon, and what a terrible start for us, guys. 
so early guys we're on a third and uh four and we step up we step up sling that thing right to Devontae adams it doesn't matter if he has parry there we're able to get a nice chunk of what 50 yards at least and this is where it gets tough man my opponent was not playing the best defense as right here we're gonna have r1 wide open felt like we could have got a broken tackle man uh definitely need every bit of fluke in the red zone but i could as you could tell i was kind of rushing things man um you definitely do play with a different demeanor when you're down you know seven points um i feel like if i play you know with the lead or you know while i'm up it's right here we're gonna hit this dot and he drops it man that's actually a huge drop and to rewind that guys i think we're gonna have y breaking open at the end and we do man and I i'm very disappointed that i missed that read to say the least and that play guys was a good play um i hadn't been running it too much i kind of lurked it off someone i'm not gonna lie i saw someone running that right here we go to our bread and butter we're gonna have this in route wide open horrible read Preston Smith gets a crazy shed. Um, if you guys want to rewind that, he goes crazy on that shed. Basically, peep the right side. He just sheds that team, double team so fast, and I kind of got shook. I could have had a couple extra seconds to make a read, but very, very bad by me, guys. I, that's all on me. That's all on me. And right here, guys, he's going to hit this corner route. Just a great dot by him. I felt like Jair was going to make a play, and he actually did. But, you know, I feel like his, his what is he, a mid-out KO or something like that. It actually never activates, in my opinion. It's right there. That definitely should have been a knockout. Potentially a pick, but, you know, I'm not asking for all that. Definitely not a catch, though, man. Right here, we run in match a little bit. And I, for the first time, I was able to slow him down. He actually had a couple people open, but my user was in the vicinity, guys. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I hadn't played too much bunch tight end and Rex, especially against the Packers. These dudes are different. You know, they have a guy who's literally unguardable in the slot. They have a corner route, crosser, post. Um, and, you know, I definitely should have hit up one of my friends who was running bunch tight end at the time. Just to get an extra rep, get some extra practices right here. Just another dot, man. And Jair has to make a play. And, you know, sometimes you guys get cheated on the animation. And that's how I knew that I was going to have to lock in. Because I thought I was going to get a lucky break right there. But once, once I saw him get to the 22, I'm like, yep, we're in, we're in for a long game right here guys very shocking he actually calls a play before the uh, first quarter ends and you know i like it i love that play call you know it doesn't always matter about taking the clock uh golden knew what was going on he knew that like he was kind of playing at a nice high level pace of offense and he's like you know what let me call a play let me not slow down my momentum and you know there he is at the two yard line already as right here man we have to get a stop um i'm in 35 wide honestly should have switched it up and aj Dillon gets in for him just a terrible start to say the least like i haven't played bad offense at all but you know when you do get stopped in the red zone it does count as his top i mean you can't deny it right here guys we're gonna run mesh he was manning up the slot a lot and that rhymes and right there mesh is a beautiful dot versus any types of cover two cover three um really not that great versus mesh and uh, match and man but it is a great dodge right here we go up tempo man we're kind of going with a faster pace i should have def like i said slowed it down a little bit right here big z just oh my goodness he sheds and we could have had Devonte adams on that corner round guys let me know if you think that was there but as you guys see right here i this is when i started a lab um this this is not like this is this is actually what was going on i actually started to lag during the game and um you know i was very very on tilt as right here he kind of bags this up but we get a broken play mvs all the way to the one yard line man and just just remember that play to the one yard line and you see right here it is a little choppy a little laggy once more um like i said man i'll let you know why like that that's so significant obviously the lag it sucks but i felt like i was super super choppy super super laggy golden does live in north carolina he was a host and remember what i said at the beginning of the video host is incredibly advantageous and right here we're gonna run fullback dive uh, with mercedes lewis and i mean this guy number 96 bro just just watch him for these next three plays right here once more preston smith i don't know how that's not a touchdown and right here once more third and goal and it's, it's that dude again i don't know who that is could someone tell me who that is i say enough's enough we go in uh, aggressive and right here we run it again and preston smith number 96 they both just tackle us and this is this is not my game to say the least man and oh to say i was not tilted yeah that that would be the biggest lie i've ever i've ever told 
once more keke like i said man i don't even know who that is he's the best on the goal line um you know i'm putting him on my mud team guys that's how good he is and this is where the rage started to come out how is that not a safety guys i swear i don't know if it was like the lag i don't know if it was like the like and i wasn't able to tackle him as you see we shoot the gap clean we're literally in the backfield but like i couldn't make a tackle i don't know what was going on that was definitely a safety in my opinion um that would have made the game tremendously easier to come back from it's right here we finally start to adjust man and at the end of the day that's what it's about i really was making some bogus adjustments in the first couple drives and you know i'll admit it like it's like feel out drives man and you know that's why honestly i feel like this game should be 14 14 14 10 at the minimum even 14 7 um but like i said those were feel out drives i really wanted to see what offense he was like running all his play arts and all that type of stuff is right here once more goes to boot over and there's really nothing there i'll let you throw that drag guy my guy you see right here guys uh, like i'm scrambling through my adjustments i don't know what's going on i can't adjust the button delay the lag whatever it may be it's kind of wild right now and right here he does motion over and you know that makes me run zone and that's not the play art i wanted why would i didn't want two deep halves or one deep half and a third right there i wanted to make that a cover three and you know i just couldn't get that adjustment off fast enough right here my opponent has all the time in the world i try to click on and get a sack thankfully he didn't hit that bounce back route that was coming down the middle and right here man i say enough's enough i send the pressure and it just doesn't matter he has so much time I go back inside for a second to guard the delay fade, and it doesn't matter, man. Definitely on tilt, my man. Um, definitely, definitely on tilt. Like, um, my buttons aren't registering it fast enough. So right here, we're going to get an intentional grounding. So this game, is I still have lives, man. So right here, guys, after a second 20 stop, we get him on a third and 20. I'm trying to think, you know, I could sack him out of field goal range, and he insta throws a flat cool with me, except why can't I click on? Why can't I make a tackle, man? I'm gonna zoom this back once for you guys. And this is where I lost my cool man. Um, just watch it again. Just peep Jair when I click on, bro. Like, look at the angle he takes. He goes back for a second, and that's 93, 93 speed. And that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, at this point of the game, I clipped it to show, like, just to see it later on. Um, I was in disbelief. I was in awe, honestly. And, <laughs> like, I don't even know what happened, man, in this game. I just I end up turning off everything, my computer, my stream, everything, because I, I was really laggy. I still fought to the end, and you know, you know what's crazy, guys? I'm so I'm so mad that I didn't keep recording. I ended up losing this game 21 to 19. And you see right here, I was down 21-0 half. End up losing by two, 21-19. Um, I started adjusting like crazy, started scoring, putting up points. And you know what's the craziest thing at all? The craziest part of it all is um, I had the ball with 10 seconds around the 40-yard line to get three points and win the game. I called a bad play, and, you know, that was that. He picked me off with four seconds left, 21-19. But, yeah, guys, that's my Xbox run. I unfortunately didn't get any money. I unfortunately couldn't make a deep enough run. Felt very good in this tournament. Um, next up on the road to the Classic will be the PS4 side. So, remember, guys, they, I had to play both sides on the same day. Um, that'll be coming out the day after this video drops. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. A lot of nice content is on the way, guys. I definitely just took a little break because this it's a lot of Madden, man. It's a lot of Madden. I definitely want to get into the fun stuff now, the content, and I love all that stuff. But it's a lot of Madden, man. <laughs> Till next time, stay safe, stay smooth. Much love to y'all. Peace.